Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting differential equation. We have y prime equals the square root of x plus y plus 1. y prime is the first derivative of y with respect to x, which we can also write as dy over dx. Now, to solve this problem, I'm going to use substitution. By using that, we're going to end up with an interesting result at the end. And then I'll pose a question and then we're going to be checking Wolfram alpha. Okay, let's get started. S since I have the x plus y as a quantity in this expression, I'm going to call that something. How about u? So u is u r. No, u is x plus y. Okay, you're not x plus y. u is x plus y. And when you set that, so x plus y is equal to u, differentiate both sides because one of the things that you want to get from here is y prime in terms of u prime. If you differentiate both sides with respect to x, it's going to be 1 plus y prime equals u prime. Since we're differentiating with respect to x, we're just going to use the prime notation for now. Now, here we can isolate y prime. And then now let's go ahead and write it this way. y prime is dy over dx and u prime is d over dx, right? But here's what I'd like to do. This is y prime and this is u prime. Let's go ahead and set it up first. Now I want to do the following. In my original equation, I had y prime equals the square root of x plus y plus 1. Now I'm going to replace x plus y with u and this with u prime minus 1. Make sense? From here. Okay? And when you do that, you're going to get the following. u prime minus 1 equals the square root of u plus 1. So we're going to get a radical, which is fine. Don't worry. We'll fix it. And then... At this point, you may want to just add 1 to both sides and isolate u prime. And that's going to be the square root of u plus 1 plus 1 on the outside. Great. Now, we want to turn this into a separable differential equation. By making the substitution, actually, we made it a separable, separable equation. Let's write the u prime as du over dx. And then divide both sides by this radical thing and multiply by dx. And you got yourself a separable differential equation. Awesome. And we can solve this by integrating both sides, right? Since it's separable, we can just integrate, integrate, and we can get the answer. But how do you integrate this? Well, we're going to use substitution one more time because substitution is awesome. Don't you think? So let's go ahead and replace the square root of u plus 1 with another variable. How about z? So square root of u plus 1 is z. That means u plus 1 is z squared. And if you d both sides, d means kind of differential, you're going to get du because the derivative of 1 is 0, so you don't need to write it. And then this is going to be 2z dz, kind of like a 2z dz. <laughs> okay, 2 dz. So how do you do the d of z squared? You basically differentiate d squared and then multiply by dz. Make sense? Now let's go ahead and do the substitution. Replace square root of u plus 1 with z. That gives us d. And du, of course, will be replaced with 2z dz. So it's going to be like this. 2z dz divided by z plus 1. Awesome. And this is actually solvable. And the trick for this, I mean, you can call z plus 1 something but too much substitution. Let's go ahead and do the following instead. I want to write this z over z plus 1 as z plus 1 minus 1 over z plus 1. And z plus 1 over z plus 1 is equal to 1, so I can write it as 1 minus 1 over z plus 1. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and take the 2 outside. And this becomes 2 times 1 minus 1 over z plus 1 dz. 
So this is what we're going to integrate. And then, of course, on the right-hand side, there's another integral, and that'll be just x plus c, right? The constant, because this is just dx, remember? And since I want to keep the constant on the right-hand side, I can just write this as x plus c. You don't have to use the constant twice. So how do you integrate this? Easy. Assume that z plus 1 is positive. Actually, I, I think it is. So this is going to become z minus ln z plus 1. And of course, this is equal to x plus c. Okay, so far so good. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and back substitute. We're going to replace z with square root of u plus 1. So it's going to be 2 times square root of u plus 1 minus ln square root of u plus 1 plus 1. Make sense? And that is equal to x plus c. Great. So that should be the answer, right? Well, almost there. Now we got to remember uh, what we called u. u is, u r, no, u is what? x plus y. Okay, great. u equals x plus y. Where did I write that? Okay, here we go. u is equal to x plus y, so let's go ahead and back substitute. This becomes 2 times the square root of x plus y plus 1 minus ln square root of x plus y plus 1 plus 1. There is um, the parentheses for ln, and then there's another parentheses for the whole thing. And that equals x plus c. Awesome. Nice, right? Well, I don't know if you like find this nice, but I do. So can we solve for y? And I'd like to say no, because this looks pretty complicated with the square root of x plus y plus 1, and then the ln, and then we have an x. It's all mixed up. Very, very complicated, very intricate. So that would be my first thought. But when you check with Wolfram Alpha, Wolfram Alpha, you're going to realize that Wolfram Alpha disagrees with me. Why? Let's see what Wolfram Alpha gives us, and then we'll hopefully refer back to this and hopefully try to make sense out of it. So Wolfram Alpha gives me the following solution, which is really cool, by the way. W is Lambert's W function. If you forgot what it was, Lambert's W function is basically the inverse function for e x times e to the x. In other words, it takes x e to the x as input and gives us x as output. Make sense? It's kind of like extracts the x in that product. So where does this come from? Well, you can kind of work backwards or just differentiate this and then evaluate x plus y plus 1 under the radical and see if those things are equal, but that's going to be quite complicated. But one of the things that I want to tell you about this expression is that w something squared plus 2 times w the same thing. What does that remind you? That reminds me the quadratic formula or completing the square. So think about it and hopefully you'll come up with something. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.